Hey guys, I'm RNG Gamer, and this is the Watermelon Challenge. Hey guys, I'm RNG Gamer. I play all my games randomly, and I'm at Game Jam South in Huntsville, Alabama. It's a two day event, and I showed up three and a half hours late to the first day. What are you gonna do? Daylight's burning, but we have a challenge we're gonna do today. I have a list of 17 things I wanna find at this convention. They range in prices from $10 all the way up to $350, maybe even more. Who knows? We'll see what the prices are like here. But for every one of these I don't find, we're going to do a challenge. I'm going to draw something out of the hat, something someone else picked for me to do. I don't even know what they are, but they're probably going to be terrible. <laughs> so let's hopefully find some of these items. All right, we're already at our first booth. We've already abandoned the entire plan for the day. We're not even gonna get anything off the list because I found a couple of really cool things. Makin X on the Dreamcast, which we already own, but it's in Japanese, and that's not gonna do us any good because we can't speak Japanese. And Burn Cycle on the PC, which we also can't play because I'm sure it won't run on Windows 11, but you can always download it on GOG and just let the box sit on the shelf. Now the question is, how much are they gonna do this for? So, we have 55 here and 10 here. I'm thinking, $50 cash for both. Run it. That'll work. Run it, man. All right, man, let's do it. We're at our second booth, guys. Guess what? Right there on the freaking top of the stack, Portrait of Ruin. So you have it at 50. Yes, sir. I had it at 55. What do you say to $45 cash? I will do 45 cash. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Well, we're at another booth. I've done deals with this gentleman before. He sold me Splatterhouse One Paku Graffiti. He also, I believe, sold me a copy of Snatcher around the same time. But he has an import I didn't know existed. It's a sequel to kind of obscure PS2 game that has a freaking cult following all around the world. But I guess they never released the sequel in the United States. It is Mr. Mosquito 2, and it's right here. Look at that cover, isn't that great? Here's the original one. <laughs> I love that. But anyway, he said he'd do it for, you said $20? Absolutely. 20 bucks? Awesome, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. I know I'm gonna fail to find at least one of these games. Might as well give you guys something to look at right now. Cut to me doing something terrible <laughs> that I don't want to do. We have Andy Pac-Man Case here. Check out his channel. The link's in the description down below. He's going to draw out of this container the next challenge I have to do. Crisscross clothes. What does that mean? You you got to turn your clothes around. Like, like crisscross. Like crisscross will make you jump, jump. Yeah, Mac Daddy make you jump, jump. Jump, jump. All right, we're going to do that. <laughs> well, here I am about to do the crisscross challenge. If you don't know who crisscross are, they were an early 90s hip hop group that were famous for wearing their clothes backwards. Now, what I didn't realize, and what most of you probably don't realize right now, is that back then everybody wore their clothes loose as hell. Baggy pants, baggy shirts. Modern clothes aren't that baggy. I'm wearing regular old dad jeans and a button down shirt, and it is unbelievably uncomfortable. It feels terrible. I hate it. Also, Modern pants are lower in the front than they are in the back, so my butt crack is hanging out. <laughs> so, let's go inside of a public grocery store and buy the supplies we need for the other challenges in this video. Dude, I am ultra embarrassed, and we're doing it all in one take too, by the way. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, okay. Locking the door. Here I am in all my glory. You can see my pants in the front. That looks good, right? Can you see that? Oh man, so bad. Terrible, terrible, terrible. There's what we need right there. Well, all right, we're leaving the grocery store. We're still in our crisscross ensemble. We have our our fantastic provisions. God, I bet that's windy. I'm sorry about that. 
dude, so many people are looking at me. The cashier just like looked at me. <laughs> she made to say like, thank you for shopping at Publix. This is what I'm gonna say when they ask me. I'm gonna say like, hey, I lost a bet. And they'll be like, hey, I'll respect that. She didn't even ask. She just thinks I'm like a psychopath and all I bought, well, I can't tell you what I bought. You saw what I bought. All I bought was a watermelon and a head of lettuce. It's like Psycho comes walking into a grocery store and all he has is a watermelon and a head of lettuce. Oh my God. Well guys, we just got lucky. We found one I was sure I was not going to find. Yakuza Dead Souls. It has a little bit of water damage on it, but it's complete. And he's gonna do it for how much? That's 75 bucks for you. 75 bucks, that's less than the 90 we had on it man so a good deal this water damage like this sometimes if you use like a dehumidifier or something like that you can get it to flatten out if you put a little bit of weight on it so we'll try that with this one i'm still just happy to see it this is not a game you see everywhere shadow dancer they've got 55 on it but they said they'd do it for 50, which seems pretty good because we would pay 60 for it. <laughs> so 55 bucks, 50, 50 bucks, 50. 50 bucks. I don't want to screw myself over, 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, we found it. We found the game no one's going to find, but it's $12, $12, dude. Holy crap, look, we got it at 10. We can't do that. We can't do it. Then maybe they'll make a better deal. How about, Six dollars for an Atari game that no one will ever buy. Can you say no to that? Thank you so much. You want to plug your store? Retro Rewind Video Games. Retro Rewind. You guys know that. You loved her accent last time so much. Go check them out. Well, Retro Rewind dug up a few other things we were looking for. One's not on our list, but everybody's telling me it's a great game. I passed on it a million times, but it's gun. Seems pretty cool. But we were able to find Extermination. And look at that. They have the price for less than we were going to pay for it. We're not going to haggle them down. We're just going to pay the $10. So, Ellis, thanks, brother. Well guys, this is unexpected. A gentleman in an RNG Gamer t-shirt walked up to me and told me that he has a donation for the channel, a console I don't have, and have said in the past that I was leery about collecting for. But now, we have no choice to buy a bu then but to buy a bunch of Magnavox Odyssey 2 games. So thank you so much. You wanna plug yourself? I'm Mike. I'm Mike Taj, I'm the channel, channel member, long time buddy of RNG Gamer. Thanks so much, Mike, I appreciate it, brother. There it is, and all of its 1970s glory. <laughs> what was it made, 1978? 80s. 80s? No, 80, 80, 78, 79. 87, 89? Shows what I know, man. I don't even play video games. <laughs> <laughs> the legendary Bucky brought me a copy of Gex. He's waving at nothing. Wave, Bucky. There he is. He trying. brought me Gex on the 3DO and he's gonna trade it to me for the game, my extra copy of Rolling Gunner that I bought, but then Strictly Limited Games gave me a free copy of it. So he's trading this. I don't remember what I paid for it. Probably about how much freaking Gex goes for, but here it is. Gex on the 3DO in the long box. If you don't know, this is the pack-in game on a bunch of 3DOs and it just came in a jewel case. So finding it in the long box, Pretty tricky to find. The employee of this booth called me a dick. <laughs> so remember Did that. You the I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. They had a game. They said they didn't have anything else on the list, but I found it. So good employees all around. It's biometal. I had it at 40. They had it at 55. But to make up for insulting me, and for having a bad price on that game, they are going to throw in Super Return of the Jedi for free. 
That's how you run a business. You insult your customer and then you make amends later. Isn't that right? Is it really a customer when it's a friend though? <laughs> <laughs> all I can say is it's all Bucky's fault. Well guys, we found another game. One of the ones I was sure we're gonna find out was having bad luck with it all day. Game Central Station had it. You wanna say hey? What's up? Guess what it is, the best category of all. Sexy Xbox. Xbox loved to put girls in bikinis on the covers of their games for no freaking reason. You wanna go fishing? Put a girl in a bikini on the cover. Wanna play pinball? Put a girl in a bikini on the cover. At least this game has some girls in bikinis playing golf. At least I think it does, but it may not. Who knows? Anyway, how much money? Five dollars. <laughs> not golf, volleyball. An actual sport where people really do wear bikinis. So, this is less bad. So I just walked up to this booth. We had a donation of an Odyssey 2 earlier. They had a bunch of Odyssey stuff sitting here. I just walked up and said, I'll buy it all for 30. They don't know what's there. I don't know what's there. They're cheating right now and looking. They gotta, they gotta know what it is though. But I offered 30. They're gonna come back at me with a price. Let's see what they say. He's investigating. That's what you never want him to do, man. You gotta catch him off guard. No one is gonna buy it. And that's gonna take up a half a box on the way home. Think of all, think of all that labor cost you're gonna lose <laughs> by having to pack up those Odyssey 2 games, man. You can't do that, man. You gotta run a good business here. <laughs> Holy crap, he said 31. He came back with a dollar more. I'm not gonna let it go. You wanna flip for the dollar? Let's flip for the dollar. How about this? I'll pick a random game out of this thing. If the last digit on the UPC is odd, I will give you 31. If it's even, we'll do it for 30. Deal. All right, here we go. It's a one. $31. <laughs> what is this? Speedway spin out and crypto logic. Sub chase. Alien Invaders Plus. The plus is the best part. Casey Munchkin. I know that one. That's the ripoff Pac Man game. Block out breakdown. Finally, something hyperspace. Something hyperspace sounds like a great game. <laughs> Oh, invaders from hyperspace. We're at the heavy hitter booth, like the heaviest hitter booth, like Earthbound, Stadium Events, Nintendo World Championship, Little Samson, you know, Panic Restaurant Boxed, you know, that stuff everybody has, right? Anyway, we need a TurboGrafx-16 game, right? Look what we have here. A bunch of TurboGrafx-16 stuff. We don't need anything in particular, just something we don't have and we want to play. Hey, it's day two, brief update. Uh, I accidentally stole a game yesterday, a $175 TurboGrafx-16 game from a vendor. You just got busy and I got busy and I laid my stuff down and I just picked it up and put it in my bag. Here's Aleem. I told him I was accidentally stole his game, Newtopia for 175 bucks. I'm returning it to him. <laughs> I was like, I, didn't, I feel bad doing that. So anyway, you never would have known. I wouldn't have. So the game I stole, he's gonna sell it to me for 135. Hey, that, that better word. Game, the game I accidentally, accidentally took. I accidentally <laughs> took for a whole day, and he didn't even know it was gone. He sold it to me for 135. So we're grabbing Newtopia right here. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> You shouldn't have to wait to see something good. I'm sure I failed to find another game. So let's just throw another challenge in right here. Come here, you're in this what? video. I, I'm you're in, in here, video. you're in this. I'm in this video Hey, now? we're here with Mondane Designs. You should go check out his YouTube channel. It's in the link down below. Reach in there, brother. Pull something out and read what it says. Sit on a watermelon until it breaks. What the hell? What? Sit on a watermelon these? until it breaks. Did your subscribers do this to you? Yes. Hey guys, I'm RNG Gamer, and this is the Watermelon Challenge. Oh God. Oh. Oh. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. 
Well, we found something not on the list, but something we want. It's Ninja Gaiden 3, man. We've never played it. We've been looking for it forever. They have 100 on it, but they said they'd do it for 90. So let's go ahead and grab that. We've been looking for this one since we were a kid. 90 bucks? That's a fairly good deal. I'll try to get it for 80. I didn't fly. Too low. <laughs> the 90's okay. I'm happy to pay that. I, I had it at about $100 is what I was willing to pay. So not too bad. We're here with Arkansas Picker, the Arkansas Picker. We found a couple of games, not on our list, but we want to get them anyway. Here we go, Skitchen. I used to rent this at the grocery store near my house. And Ghostbusters on the Xbox 360, a game I've never played, but everybody tells me it's really like the third actual Ghostbusters movie. He had 28 on Skitchen and eight on Ghostbusters. I offered 35 and he said, yeah, of course. Absolutely. We're here with Retro Wolf. Say hey. Hey. Go check them out if you haven't checked out Retro Wolf 88. We brought these three games. Super Mario Deluxe U Sealed, Jamestown Plus Sealed. I got the PS4 version of that, so I didn't need this one. And Spec Ops The Line, which is not as hot as it was a couple months ago, but I picked it up for just a few bucks. This is about $140 worth of value. He's gonna give me a good deal on it. I'm not gonna tell you how much he paid, but let's say I'm happy with it. He's gonna throw that in for me. We're gonna walk away with a little bit of extra money to spend on some other stuff we don't need. <laughs> also, he's gonna buy a t-shirt, man. He's gonna rock an RNG Gamer t-shirt. Here you go, you wanna hold it up for us? Thanks, here it looks like. There's the front of it. It's got my beautiful face on it. Flip it over so everybody see the back of it. It also has my beautiful face on it. That's all you'd ever want, right? <laughs> When we first came into this convention, we didn't go down the first row, we went straight up the middle. And at one of the first booths in this place that I missed, I missed this game, one of the heavy hitters off the list. It's obscure. There it is. In all its glory. It's like 80 bucks on the Xbox. It's like 375 on the PS2, but the Xbox version is actually supposed to be better. And we have the sequel on the Xbox, which is why we're going for it here and to save money, of course. Now, this nice gentleman here said he'd do it for 70 bucks. You're okay with that? I'm okay with it. Sounds good, man. Look at this. Rage Racer? Rage Racer. Dude, look at that cover with the gold. It's Namco. Is it like a Ridge Racer spinoff? What is this? What even is this game? It's $5. I'm just going to buy it. I'm going to buy it from another YouTuber. How's it going? You want to say hi? How's it going? This is Justin, otherwise known as the Flipping Accountant. And uh, yeah, I'm, his mind was literally blown when he saw that game. And I said, it's, it's perfect. It's for you. He's right. It's for me. Let's give the man $5. So conventions are weird, especially if you're like a content creator or like a longtime game collector, because we all know each other. <laughs> like. I spent the weekend hanging out with other content creators and other vendors, and they all know me, and they all like save deals for me, and they all cut me deals. I get into the conventions early. I get to buy stuff early. We all get to make the best deals before anyone else gets there. It's not really fair. I could say you should go become a content creator so you can do it yourself, but know that a lot of these deals you see on these videos are done between friends. Conventions are still the best way to find deals, even if you're not a content creator you can pay in cash, you can talk to the person, you can put the games in your hand, turn them around, play with them, smell them, make sure they don't have water damage, make sure they're not full of bed bugs, things like that. When you buy online, you're not sure. So if you're looking to collect, you're having a hard time finding deals, save your money, come to a convention. You'll get all the shopping done in two days that you can handle. But I found some really cool stuff. I met some really cool people, I made some new friends. This is the way you do it. This is what the community is all about, guys. All right, guys. This guy's clearing stuff out. We got Cyborg Justice, which I bought for $20 when it came out. It was like the only Genesis game I had for like a year. 10 Star, I don't know anything about it, but it looks like a crappy platformer, so maybe it's okay. And one we actually want, Metroid 2 on the Game Boy for 20. That's 38 bucks with the stuff. He agreed to $30. 30 bucks? Awesome, yes sir. All right, here's a game that's kind of blowing up a little bit on the Xbox 360. I think it might go up on the PS3, but it's a game that was like three bucks forever. Nobody wanted it because it's not a good game. But of course, people get sentimental about these sort of things. 
It's Naughty Bear, gold edition. He had it at 20. I don't know if that's a good price or not, but I offered him 15 and he said he'd take it. <laughs> so let's grab it. So a new game in this series just came out. This is a terrible game. Earlier in the series, it came out on the Xbox 360. It's been blowing up recently. I've been looking for it. It's Alone in the Dark. They have it as eight bucks. That seems really low. I don't know what the price is, but I think it's higher than that. So eight bucks on this. I feel like that was really underpriced. I remember that game getting kind of pricey. I don't know what's going on. They said they bought everything at that booth for $50 from a guy that like deserted it at his parents' house. They have 20 grand worth of content there. Can I show it? Can I actually, can I get some B-roll of all this? So this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about, guys. I mean, I mean, this is, it's all the things, right? Like this is, <laughs> like that's a collection. That's a lifelong collection. 50 bucks, 50 bucks. Please. You have to take a shot of hot sauce. I have to take a shot of hot sauce. Yep. Take a shot of hot sauce. What is this called? Fusion habanero and peach. Oh, I say habanero. It's habanero. There's no inye in there. Anyway, I'm opening it up on camera. It's hard. Oh, God. All right, here we go. I just threw that on the ground. Don't worry. I'll pick it up. I was going to use, like... A thicker hot sauce but <laughs> I was it too hard to shoot oh god oh <coughs> here we go we don't want to overdo it right just the standard shot amount right hey guys I'm RNG gamer and this is the hot sauce challenge That was about that much of that bottle. <coughs> oh. Oh, buddy, that's so hot. Oh, that's so hot. Oh. <coughs> oh. 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 It's not like one of those that creeps up in the back of your throat. He just hits you like right in your teeth right from the onset. Oh, but I think I'm okay. <coughs> My mouth's water real bad. Dude, I might throw up. Oh. Fantastic. We're like two booths from the end of the entire convention and guess what we found? Hidden under the Game Boy player blood will tell is there any way we could pull it out and take a look at it looks pretty clean it's got the manual in it it's complete the manual's in nice shape let's check the disc i offered them 280 they're selling it on consignment so they couldn't haggle too much but we came in at 310 pretty good deal for blood will tell. The top game on the list. That's one less challenge I have to do. I'm worried about the others. We don't have far to go in this convention until we run out of booths to check. We found another one. We're at an awesome booth. It is packed. This booth is always packed. Say hi. Hey, Joe from Joe's Retro Games here. It's Joe. You've seen him before on the channel. I love the way he sets everything up. Now, it's hard to access it because it's stacked, but you can see every title. And this is the way you do it at a convention. Put it in a circle like this, and you just go up and down and scan really quickly. There's nothing worse than having to like flip through games. But like eight other people are standing around flipping through games. You can stand 10 feet away and see what you got. But we found Flippin' Ridge Racer 7. 
the most common impossible game ever. Now he's got it at 20 bucks. We want to buy it a little bit lower than that. Let's see what his lowest price is. What can you do on this? Ooh. Want to do 15? 15 sounds great, man. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> I picked this up from, what do they call? Premium, premium edition games. Rain on your parade. You play as a cloud, you rain gasoline on people. Wreak havoc of all types. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Well, we found a game on the Xbox 360 that I think is kind of hard to find. I don't see it very often. It's Dead to Rights Retribution. They've got it for $10.85. No bueno. We're going to offer them $10 cash. And they're going to take it, right, Andy? Yep. 10 bucks. <laughs> That's it. Here we go. I'm trying to ask this gentleman here for a crazy deal. And his reply was, am I a gambler? And you guys know good and well that I have a terrible gambling problem. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I am a gambler. What is your proposition for this? The, we, all right, so we have the value of $90. He offered me 60, which is crazy, and I came back with 50. So let's see what he comes back with in terms of gambling. Let's, let's make it fun. Let's do it $10 more, you know, either way. So let's do a 50, 70 coin flip. 50, 70 coin flip. I'm up for that. Anybody have a coin? Oh man, we got here a Liberty half dollar. Nice. We're gonna flip it right here on this table, right onto the games. Tails, I pay you 50. Heads, I pay you seven. Done. Love you ready? It. Oh, let's reflip that. Heads, I pay you 70. Good deal. <laughs> Good deal. <laughs> Gunslingers on the Wii. This is a terrible light gun game I've heard. I'm not sure, but I. I mean, it doesn't look good, but we're gonna play it anyway. And then Mad Dog McCree, a classic arcade series. This is the first three games and maybe the only three games. I played the first one a bunch, but I don't think I've ever played the second or third one. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be great on the Wii. Thank you so much Absolutely. for the yeah, deal. Pleasure. 70 bucks, it was an okay deal. Well, guys, we walked around this flipping convention center. No 007, no Otogi 2. No Fox Hunt and no freaking 3DO games. All right. All right. We're here with Saturn Steve. So, buddy, I need you to reach in here and grab one of these. Eat a whole head of lettuce. That's it. Eat a whole head of lettuce. I'm just trying not to make jokes. Sorry. Um, <coughs> I guess this is in like one go. Enjoy your vegetation. You have to eat a whole head of lettuce in like, one go. Like an apple. He has to eat it like an like apple. Like an apple. Yep, I assume fine. that's what it is. It is. Hey guys, I'm RNG Gamer. And this is the lettuce challenge. Nope, I'm that far in. My jaw is already tired from chewing. Feels like a disaster. I thought that as I was like chewing this, my mouth would be like filling up full of water. Like when you eat fruit, like, oh yeah, I man, it'll be mostly water. There's like no water in my mouth. This is like the driest freaking piece of lettuce Ever. I should have had that, those two chicken wraps for lunch <laughs> and the banana and the protein bar. It's like these little pieces right off the ground. It doesn't matter, it's dirty. This is an abandoned house, by the way. I'm in a totally different neighborhood. <laughs> so you guys don't dox me. Yeah, I'm like trespassing right now. Awesome, huh? I'm maybe like 20% of the way through this thing. It's kind of hard to hold it all together. I'm not gonna lie to you. It feels like every time I make a sandwich and I put lettuce on it, I have to struggle to get the lettuce off without tearing it to like a million pieces. But not this one, it's just falling off. Probably why it's so freaking dry. I just hit 10,000 subscribers yesterday. 
I guess you could say this is like the 10,000 subscriber special. Super fun, huh? What a way to celebrate. Oh man, I'm so full. <laughs> what is that like? I've eaten like 40% of it. Oh dude, I'm having a hard time breathing. Also my mustache keeps getting pulled into my mouth and I like bite my whisker, it hurts. If you're liking the video thus far, please, for the love of God, Subscribe, comment, give me a like. That's the best way to help me with the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> please, please, please do it for me. This head of lettuce, <clears throat> I'm guessing it weighed about a pound and a half, two pounds, something like that. That's right under a kilogram for all you folks in Europe. So I was sitting here filming and my freaking camera overheated. My camera overheated. I'm still sitting here with the lettuce. Nothing's changed. We're still eating the lettuce. That's how hot it is. Dude, it's freaking May. It's May and it's so hot that the electronics are overheating. Love it. If I figure out who picked this challenge for me to do, like who, who decided to do this, I'm so mad at you. I got lettuce in my pocket. That's what the ground looks like. I haven't spilled that much. I think that's forgivable. That's less than like half of a leaf. And about 180th of the lettuce they put on a sandwich at Subway. I'm 95% of the way to throwing up. Like I'm starting to gag a little bit. And the arm's also getting tired from holding up the phone. Oops. Here, look at this. Let me just grab that off the ground there. Oh, dude, I'm going to throw up. Oh, God. That piece of the ground had, like, grit and sand on it. This was like sending me over the edge. <coughs> I'm losing my composure a little bit. Now that I'm on the verge of throwing up. Throwing up sounds so bad. Maybe it's not so country. What's a, what's a more genteel way of saying throw up? Vermeer? Right? That's how they say it in France, right? Vermeer? What do I do about this, dude? Do I just eat that part? How hard is it? It doesn't look good. It's all like red. Why is it red? It's pretty tough. It's kind of like the texture of a raw potato. Cheers. God. It tastes so bad. Oh. I'm starting to cry. My eyes are like watering. Definitely the most unpleasant challenge. Thank you so much to Ty and Austin for inviting me to be a guest at Game Jam South. It was a pleasure as always.
Oh, God. Well, I don't know what it was like to do those four challenges. Those are in the future. Future RNG has to do those. That's future RNG's problem. But I bet they weren't fun. <laughs> if you made it this far, guys, I really appreciate it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That's the best way to help the channel. If you want to do a little bit more, you can find the link to become a channel member down below or go over to Patreon slash RNG Gamer. You get access to the videos early. You get access to member exclusive videos. There's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do as well while you're out there. All the patrons and channel members are on the screen right now. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Hope you liked the video. It was miserable to make, <laughs> but we had a good time.